Hi, I'm Brad Knowles, producer of Friday Night Flies, hosted by Scott LeBoldis and Scotty Holmes. Enjoy the show. Uh, well in fast and calm waters. Uh, it's basically like a cork when you try to fish it. It's uh, yeah, you can't really, it's hard to sink these flies. Well Trust me. Yep. Uh, it's so, uh, you want to go down or? Uh, yeah, we, we can go down. Or? You got her, buddy. So okay. I'm just gonna make sure we got this thing's uh, Man, it's always interesting that first couple flies. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what? I remember when we first dialed in our other computer, it took a couple trips here before we got everything figured out. But you know what? That's a beautiful tie, buddy. Thank beautiful you. fly. And uh, I can see that working very well. I can too. So, what are the key features on this fly? Um, basically, I've swapped out the deer hair in the back that usually is for the tail with a little red egg ball um i've also added diamond dub obviously uh i was playing around with it i like the darker in the back the lighter in the front um i and different colors of course but ultimately i chose uh the two greens uh the more olive green in the front darker and the sort of more lighter green in the back uh, it's also usually tied with a yellow uh, back tail piece, I guess, um, with uh, yellow copper wire. Uh, I got red copper wire, or not red wire, but I got red, or copper, but red wire. Um, and I got a little bit, like, longer, um, not grizzly hackle, which is usually used on these, but uh, I got some, I got a woolly bugger packet which um, just is a little bit longer uh, hackle which uh, it's pretty good uh, perfect well let's yeah. get to tying this beautiful fly buddy okay cause it's tying time it's tying time I've been dying I've been waiting all week <laughs> oh yeah I, I actually have been okay so I've already started my thread um, just in the mix of things. What do you use? What kind of thread? Uh, is that? Oh yeah, I'm using Superfly tan thread. Yeah. In, um, uh, what is that? A six six aught. Yeah. Perfect. Six aught. Um, okay. So I've tied it all the way down to the bottom. Now I'm gonna take some of my uh, Simo laser laser dubbing red. Um, it's a little bit more stringier, uh, so I sort of cut it up into um, just almost consistency of um, uh, the um, diamond dub sorry and I'm just gonna sort of roll that on there actually I don't I'm just gonna stretch it out a little bit and with this fly you, we're gonna be putting on sort of sparser amounts um, just because it just makes the fly a whole lot better So actually, we almost had too much dubbing there. It's going to take a little bit off, put a little <coughs> bit more on. This, this is sort of just going to be, um, you know how a bowl looks at red colors. This is sort of acting like the same thing. Hot spot, baby. It's a hot spot, exactly. Um, it's just going to attract the fish. Fish is going to see the rest of the fly. 
and they're gonna want to eat it maybe not as fiercely as a um, maybe not as fiercely as a streamer uh, but they will want to eat it and you're gonna have a fun time fishing this fly trust me on that one okay so now we've got sort of the ball on there right and I'm just gonna wrap my thread about halfway up the hook shank by the way I'm using a Daitachi size 8 hook this is good for nymphs uh, it's good for stimulators obviously um, it's a good all-around hook I really like these hooks so far just fly tying and fishing them and I'm gonna I'm going to grab a good chunk of my red wire. Been sorry using red wire lately. I've just really liked it. Uh, and I'm just going to tie it in right at the top of the hook or right in the middle of the hook shank. And this is sort of where we're going to also be putting in the deer hair, which is, I find, one of the more important parts where you place the deer hair because you can either have a longer head or a shorter head I'm just gonna wrap that down the hook shank there we go now I've got some I've got my diamond dub you're gonna want to put this in really sparse amounts and all I'm going to do is, if I have to, I'll go back over it. And you sort of want a skinnier, not skinnier, but it's, these flies are sort of about profile as well. You, you, want, you want it to be even. Like, see, you can see just that little sparse amount, but it's nice and tight. I don't want it all loose everywhere. Or stringy is another word. I've watched all the all the Friday Night Flies crew tie their flies or seen pictures of them this week and I'm like ooh I can't wait to tie mine <laughs> yeah we've been throwing a few kinks out there to, uh, to our Instagram followers uh, I know Zach's been throwing a bunch out oh, there oh yes Zach has and, uh, yeah Zach Bass Pro man we love you. yeah I'm really enjoying Zach's post if you're watching this Zach um, I like to I'm growing into more of a streamer lover as steelhead season uh, progresses um, start moving a little bit further away from that trout uh, aspect even though I do enjoy trout for a lot of people there I like to fish uh, for food I also like to catch and release but it's one of the main reasons why fish uh, lakes around here is because you're allowed to keep them and I just enjoy fishing uh, in general so I'm just basically putting my dubbing on nice and sparse like as you can see um, and the reason we're doing this and we're not putting in the hackle first is because it's a little bit more challenging to sort of tie everything in at the back it's not it's not really natural okay there we go so now I'm gonna take some of my woolly bugger packet um, now again I said this was a little bit longer than grizzly hassle it's not as um, sort of but grizzly yeah but Okay, so let me pick a nice one. There we go. So I'm gonna. I got sort of like a brown uh, grizzly hackle. Um, I'm just. There we go. And I'm just gonna. There we go. And I just sort of took a little piece off the end. Uh, that's just going to make it easier to tie in. Oh, I forgot. If you, It makes tying this fly a lot easier if you have hackle pliers. Um, I really enjoy 
that tool, honestly, when I started tying this fly. Yeah, I tied something similar to that. Okay, the, Brad's yeah. computer started distracting me a little bit when I was talking, sorry. I'm looking over at his computer and <laughs> I can see a glimpse of myself and I'm like, oh. It's simple. Okay, okay so now I'm going to wrap this down and I want e nice even wraps. I don't... There we go. And I don't want super, super thick sort of wraps. That's all going to get covered up by the deer hair, so I'm not really worried about that. I want nice even wraps, but I want I don't want this hackle to be super thick. I'm going to wrap it all the way down to the red egg. Now, I'm going to take my red wire, and I'm going to counter wrap it, and it's just going to help lock all these fibers in place, the hackle, everything. I'm just going to sort of zigzag it back and forth to try and free up. I'm going to also be taking my bobkin or needle or whatever people like to call it and sort of freeing up some of the hackle pieces at the same time uh, you can also go through after and free them up again I don't I'm trying to get through this wire a little bit I don't want super close wraps because this is a dry fly obviously and dry flies do not like to be weighed down um, and you can see now the hackles sort of gone everywhere so that's where at the end you m you're gonna want to um, just oh, oh, pick some of it out take pick some of it out exactly there we go and now I'm just gonna cut off the excess I've donated a pair of old scissors, dull scissors um, to doing this I just find when it's a little bit easier to do it tie it down and now I'm going to also cut off the tail and I'm going to wrap back to where it catches there we go And don't put that, um, don't put those pliers away yet because you're going to be using them again if you're tying this with me live. Um, okay, there we go. And I'm just going to go through and sort of pick out some of them. Okay, there we go. Now... I'm going to take my deer hair. Uh, you could use uh, so thread wax or dubbing wax for this. I don't have any with me at the moment. Rich, uh, sorry, buddy. Rich Woodhouse is wondering how long you've been tying for. Uh, I've been tying for, I guess, about oh, a year and a half. Uh, this Honestly, is... now, how long have you been seriously tying? A year and tying? a half. A year seriously. and a half. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there you got it. Year and a half. I'm just gonna put that in my tip stacker. <laughs> no, I actually have been tied. I know, for a year I know. I believe you. I believe you. Man, most people wouldn't be able to tie that if they were just starting. If you know what I'm saying. Yeah. But with the guidance of Scott Boulder. Oh yes. Scotty the boldest and uh, Friday Night Flies crew here. Friday Night Flies. Exactly. Calm. You can catch on pretty darn quick. Yes, yes I can. Okay, so now I've got my tips all straightened out. And I'm just going to pick out some of the more looser fibers. I want, I want the tail to go about... I want the tail to just be at the end of that ball. The wing. Or the wing, sorry. The wing, man, the wing. The wing. Okay, there we go. Oh. I'm gonna, like my fly, I think I tied last week, or, or sorry, the week before, um, the caddis. I'm just gonna make a light, and I'm just gonna slowly get tighter and tighter and tighter. And these are 
Oops, they're over lapping wraps. It's um, not bad if How you... many shows have you done on Friday Night Flies now? I think I've done about two months worth now. So what, eight, eight shows or something? Eight, yeah. Roughly eight shows. That's unreal, man. Hey, I enjoy it. It's what I look forward to every week, honestly. <laughs> I'll come home after hockey games at 10 o'clock, 10.30, 9.30, and I just want a fly tie. It's, that's honestly... We gotta put, we gotta put those flies to work this summer, kid. Oh yes, we will. Those fish are in trouble, that's all I can say. Those fish are in trouble. And I just sort of held back these hairs because I don't want these sort of bad hairs to get in the way. You know what, Scotty? We gotta get this young feller here dialed in on tying egg patterns. Yeah, because I know how many of those. <laughs> <into production. laughs> yeah. You know how many of those I go through in a in a fall. Oof. Oh, I can believe it. Yeah, Rich is uh, giving you a little bit of a shout out here. He says the kids soaking it up, fun to watch. And uh, Willie, forty seven, he says enjoy his time. So sweet, thank you. Got you. Some, you got some fans out there, buddy. It's nice to hear. It's funny, I talked to some of the exchange students and they're, it's like, do you, do you know what fly tying is? Do you stick a fly, a dead fly on a hook and <laughs> tie it in? And so it takes a while for them, even, even Canadian kids, like kids in my class, um, they're like, so what do you actually do on Friday Night Flies? Do you tie a dead fly in? And it, it takes some explaining <laughs> honestly it does yeah well they're probably thinking no, what the hell's wrong I with this kid he's not yes. he's not going home to play on his xbox exactly you know he's going home to tie flies you got your priorities straight there young man well honestly a lot of the kids in my class um bike ski we all some of them live on farms so it's not like we go home and play xbox but there is a lot of kids that do and uh i can't stand doing that okay so now I've got my woolly bugger packet again uh, no, no, no. let's try and find a nice or skinnier one to tie with uh, this that you want the head to sort of Show them what you're doing I saw you're bending the, the hackle there what are you doing oh there? okay so I'm when I bend the hackle it just basically gives me a gauge of how how long the fibers actually are that's an important part, man. It These is. People that are watching need to know that stuff. Um, yeah, that is a big part of it. I should explain that. Um, yeah, if you don't do that, I've made mistakes where I've bought packages of hackle and just fly tying materials and got home, been, got everything set up, got halfway through the fly. Oh, wrong material. <laughs> Hackle's too big. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I swear I've spent well over fifty hundred dollars in wrong material. And Brad's happy to sell it to you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know he is. <laughs> Sher oh, Sheridan and uh, Riley, Brad's other guide, yeah. actually started placing bets on what time I'd come in here at yeah. to come and get it. And I, I'm usually just at the nick of time. Okay, so now we've sort of got that sort of lighter pat or dubbing in I'm gonna take that <coughs> more darker olive um, olive and I'm just gonna again it's sparse it's sparse sparse sort of um, dubbing wraps if you have to go over it twice go over it twice the sparser it is the better um, I usually like to put too less than too much because when you put too much, it just throws the whole fly off, like right there. Um, you know what the famous saying for fly tying is, bud? Uh, Less is more. I know, exactly. You just, man, when you get that figured out, son, I tell you right now, you're going to be making nothing but great flies. And to be honest, I've learned, I, I pretty much learned all my fly tying skills from these videos. I, as the first thing I did, I bought, when I first started fly tying, I bought a little packet or a kit, gave me all, like the basic tools, and then after I sort of got all those flies down, like the woolly bugger, um, the um, 
the um, um, oh man, foam ant, everything, mayflies. I I just I went to these videos just to sort of be creative, and this is how I learned how to fly tie. Um, again, you you want sort of a sparser amount. I tried tying this fly, trying to do it all in one loop, and just gotta tell you, it didn't look good. <laughs> Okay, there we go. And now I'm going to take my hackle pliers again. The and only time you really put dug it on thick is if you're going to pick it out. And that's exactly. You want to fill. Yeah. So I'm just going to wrap again evenly up the... Or down the hook. Shank. Up, down. Same thing. Towards the eye. Towards the eye. And I want them nice, evenly spaced... There we go. I'm just going to sort of do a crisscross. There we go. I just broke off, so I want to get this tied in quickly. Nice shave. There we go. Nice shave. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have that happen to me, and your heart rate just goes oh, up. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen while you're alive. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. Scott. <laughs> that was his last fly. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just gonna take uh, my whip finisher. I tried that finger thing that Jordan did last week. I maybe got one knot in. It didn't work out well for me. You, I, I'm not going heavy on the whip finish. Um, the eye is already fairly crowded. And I just hate it when you're cold, you're wet, but you still want to keep fishing, and you can't get the tippet or the leader through the eye. There we go. That's pretty much the finished result. I'm just going to sort of pick out some of these extra fibers and trim, trim off the ones that didn't. Like... I like the saying that Jordan said last week from Pacific Anglers, you can tie flies for fishermen or for fish. Um, it's it's a fly, fly fish, fly tying for me is for tying flies that fish are going to eat. Not, you're not going to spend three hours on a fly and put it out in the water. Well, maybe Scott will. Yep. Well, you know what, I want to, <laughs> while we're here, uh, somebody's just asking us, uh, Gunk or Gunk. He, uh, he just asked us what vice we're using here. Uh, that one is a Griffin uh, cam over. It's one of their older stuff. It's not a full rotary, but uh, I just got word today that our good friends over at uh, Griffin are sending us a brand new rotary vice. Yeah. That's right, baby. So anyhow, we would like to thank those guys. We'd also like to thank uh, Superfly as well. Well, we got the the moment here, the quiet time. Yeah, the quiet and time. And then I'm gonna let the kid go back at her here. So we'll go up top. That's your tie. That's yep. your that's a stimulator from hell, man. That thing is gonna kill him. So we'll go back up top here. Okay. So that was my uh, stimulator variant. Always forget that word for some reason, but uh, yeah, that was my variant. Uh, I probably went. This fly isn't a super hard fly to tie once you get going like um it's not hard to tie but man that thing is yeah, very effective it, it is very effective it, uh, we use it for sto it's a stone fly uh adult right there yeah plain and simple um i've seen them tied with uh, like an orange body to cover uh, the bases of a salmon fly exactly uh there's a few different things that and it's just a big juicy dry fly yeah so anyhow we'll get ready to sign out here buddy okay hold on uh i wanted to make a I want to make a quick thank you to the Friday Night Fly crew for letting me do this. Uh, I was thinking about it this week. I wouldn't be able to do this sort of stuff without them. You know what? Your sister. So your sister's here. You get, come on around the back here for a quick second here. You know this is the one we're always giving shoutouts to. <laughs> yeah. She just happens to be your twin. My twin. She's definitely better looking than you are. But that's it's easy. You gotta always say that about yeah. girls, anyhow. So anyhow, come on in here, big sis. Let's get your... Oh, there you are. There. Yeah, you All can right. see the similarity <laughs> here. So anyhow, 
we're ready to sign out here, homeboy. Okay, see ya. Have a good night, guys. Oh, man. Holy, you're both famous. I know. Yeah, <laughs> man. <laughs> see ya, man. Hands are so cold. <laughs>